You guys ready for some more Spin Masters uh, Batman figures? I got Wave 2 and some extras. So let's get on with the review. Hey guys, Joe Rhino here, and uh, today I'm going to do a review, unboxing, whatever you want to call it, of the Spin Masters. I never, I got this a long time ago after I did my last video. It seemed like a lot of people like those videos, so I thought I'd, you know, pick some more of these up, and I never picked up Nightwing. So I'm going to go over these, and then um, I also got a slew of, uh, I don't know if it's Wave 2 or technically Wave 3, I don't know. I have to look at the paperwork that it comes with. But I'm going to do things a little differently. I'm in the process of redoing my uh, toy room. And my, my other room is uh, cluttered with a bunch of stuff where I normally do. So I'm just going to open them up here on camera. Go over the figures with you. Uh, if you see my last video, you know the articulation. You know, most of the figures are... They all have the same articulation. So, um... I'm going to go over uh, Nightwing first, open them up, see what he comes with. So here's a collectible card. And then he comes with a multiple surprise accessories. So it comes with a battering. Comes with these silly looking gauntlets. As big as a Batman fan as I am, I'm. I know these are intended for kids, but I probably won't use half of these accessories because. Well, this one looks kind of looks cool. Looks like a a face mask or a, a breather. Actually, I think it might go over around him so like the last one here's the paperwork this shows all, all the figures in the wave and like i said i believe i have them all i have the joker batman i don't have a lot of the the variants and the the different ones actually i don't think i got the rebirth tactical one so let me go over the figure and uh let you know what i think about them so here he's out of the package. Like I said, even though these are intended for kids, I, I really like the quality of them. I've, I've always been a fan of the the four inch or the three and three quarter figures all the way from my childhood with the Star Wars figures. So I'm guessing this plugs on his back. It's supposed to fold over like a gas mask, but if I take my thumb off, it's going to pop off. Like I said, I probably won't even use it. But here he is. Uh, let me go over the articulation real quick. I don't know if, if you remember on my last video. Um, some of the articulation is good and some of them, I think they need to work on it. Like I, can bear, I can't even move his head. He's, I think he's got like a, a ball jointed head, but it barely moves left, it barely moves right. If I was a kid, I'd probably twist it so hard that the, the peg would break. But he's got ball socket uh, shoulders, hinge and swivel elbows, and then that's it. I think he has a barbell connecting his legs. So basically, uh, they could go out, they could go forward, they could go back a little bit. And then they have a swivel at the thigh, uh, the hinge, uh, hinge and swivel at the knee. Which is weird because you can swivel at the thigh and at the knee and then nothing on the ankle so like i said um articulation is okay could be improved on you know, at the end of the day it's a it's a kid's figure i'm happy with it you know they're just going to be put on a shelf and displayed might get like a little bat cave or something like that this is the one i was really excited about was the three pack all right, that took a little uh, doing just to get these swords and grappling hook or whatever. But I, I'm guessing these two are for Robin. 
And then this is the grappling gun that Batman comes with. I believe it's the same one that the single pack comes with. And here are Batman and Robin. I'm not going to spend too much time on them because they're essentially just repaints. But I just want to show them off. So here's Robin. He looks uh, pretty cool. He's got his lower forearms and his boots are muddy. Robin was always one of my favorite characters from the Batman um, comics and stuff growing up. And then here's Batman. He's in green. And then like Robin, he has like the mud uh, gauntlets in his boots. I actually like this. Uh, it's kind of a cool Batman. But the meat and potatoes of the pack is Killer Croc. So here's Killer Croc. And uh, again, like uh, the other ones, he is a beefier figure. But he's probably the same exact height as Batman, which is a little off-putting. But he's got a, a look, looks like he's just got a swivel head. It's just a cut and you can barely move it. They got to redo their heads. Um, he's got ball socket. I'll do it this way. Ball socket arm, shoulders. Same with the elbow. Like a swivel and hinged. And then same thing with the legs. But I think the way he's sculpted, it can't. I guess he can go straight out. There you go. Go back a little bit. Barely any. And then just has the swivel. And I think like man bat, he doesn't have any knees or anything. But So there's Killer Croc. But I got these from Walmart a couple days ago. And I'd like to continue to keep getting these. They keep doing repaints and I probably won't be picking up the repaints. But I got Robin. Batwoman. Joker in black. They also had another Joker in blue, but I believe I'll have to see if this is a variant or a repaint or if the other Joker was from this uh, first series. And then I got Killer Moth. So let me rip one of these open. I'll go with Killer Moth first because he's uh, one of the new obscure characters. Kind of glad they're doing stuff like that, you know. Most kids wouldn't know who Killer Moth is. So it's kind of cool that they're incorporating some of the characters that are lesser known. There's his collectible card. Let's see what accessories he comes with. Comes with a, looks like a briefcase full of money. Which I actually kind of like that. He has his, uh, who knows what this is, his bug spray, and then, oh, of course, comes with the battering. So these are all the people in this wave. I don't know if I should be able to zoom in on it. So there is a armored Batman, it looks like. So I got Batman, Batwoman, Killer Moth, Robin. There's another gold rare Batman. So that Joker that I did see in the store was the the super rare, I guess. Whoops. I don't care. I already have a Joker that looks similar. There's our Rebirth Batman. I didn't see him. Again, use caution if you're opening these. And uh, discard those. Don't let them get in the water system and all that. So here's Killer Moth. First off, he has a removable winged backpack. Just plugs in, which is, I think every single figure has the same back peg system. So technically, you can put it on anybody. Oh, yeah. And then uh, just be careful if you're going to do it with the guys with the capes because they have... They have a little hole in their actual 
I think that's kind of cool. That's that's something the kids will enjoy. So let's see if there's any improvements on Series 2. Looks like his head is still on a ball socket. It does move a little better than the other ones. Um, same joint system on all of them. I'm not going to go over the articulation on every single figure. I'll just show close-ups of them. So you can get an idea of uh, what they look like. Hope that's uh, clear enough for you guys. You can see his logo on his chest. So that's uh, Killer Moth. Go quickly over Red Robin. That's what I'm going to call him. Later called uh, one of the later Robins, Red Robin. So this is the same artwork Killer Moth came with. He comes with a nice, he comes with a, a bow staff, which I don't remember if Series 1 Robin came with one like that. I do remember the He only came with one sword. You can barely see it. At least it's not glow in the dark green. And he comes with the Batman mask. I got the super oh, I got the super rare Robin. So like I said, it depends on what I don't know if that's gonna show up. See the gold Batman mask and the other one up top, it's black. So, again, I'll probably never use this mask. It's still kind of cool. Alright, let me rip them open. Alright. Here's Robin. And here he is up against Series 1 Robin, even though this is the repaint but you could tell it you could see it's pretty much the same figure he's just painted different so i'll give you a good uh good robin there's his back and here's the weird batman mask it comes with but i don't know why robin would <laughs> so here is the joker we'll do him next so there is the card to come with. Here's the little cannon thing that he comes with. It's got like a, a boxing glove on the end of it. Here is his little laughing. Oh, I, I remember this from Wave 1. Is I got a kick out of it. A little wind-up wet laughing mouth. And he comes with whatever this is. He came out a lot easier. I used to save these little rubber band things. At one time I had a drawer of like a hundred of them and I never used them. So here's uh, the Joker. Kind of cool to have a Joker in a different color. If I remember, oh, maybe they did fix it. I think that was one of the thing. One of the problems I had with the original Joker. Maybe his legs were backwards. But his knees would like go all the way forward. But now there's these little lips on his pant legs. I don't know if you can see them. So at least his uh, legs won't do, do that. And maybe it is a uh, different. Hold on. Let me go get the other one. Alright. I ran and got my other Joker. I just uh, kept bothering me. So it is identically... The same exact Joker. Thought maybe it was a different head. Or some type of different body parts. And my legs were like this when I was looking at mine. That's why I thought I remember there's something being weird about the legs. I just I just had them twisted. So they are the same exact legs. But uh like I said, it's nice to have a different Joker. This reminds me of uh, one of the famous covers with Harley Quinn. Him and uh, Harley Quinn are dancing. So hopefully they make a Harley Quinn. So finally, probably the main one that I wanted to get out of this wave. Just because it's a new character. It's not like a repaint. It's not a remolded figure or anything like that. And then here is... Uh, 
card. And let's see what weapon she comes with. She comes with her own little grappling gun. It's like a really bright orange. She comes with two two picks. Ice climbing picks or I honestly don't know. I wish they would actually call them something so people knew. And oh nice. She comes with Batman armor. She is, I believe, the first female. Yeah. So it'll be interesting to see if they do any of their articulation different. A lot of times toy lines change up the articulation for a female figure because it's a you know she has like a smaller frame or whatnot but uh she has the same problem with her head as most figures you can barely I mean you can't even move it the hair sculpted is right up against her shoulders so you couldn't even move it if you wanted to she has the same uh, ball hinge elbows same or shoulders same elbows she has the same she could go that far that far back and then single jointed ball hinge and then oh in the swivel at the thigh so she pretty much has this the exact same articulation which is pretty awesome on uh the spin masters uh part because like i said a lot of companies tend to give the female figures less articulation or they you know they change it up a little but there she is i don't know if it, detail will come in she's got a lot of sculpted armor detail which looks pretty cool you know different like a uh, detail like the ribbing and then like the smoothness it's just a shame with the the way they did her head it's you can't move it and that's pretty much as far as you can move it you can't go the other way because this part right here dips down but anyway so there's my haul of the Spin Masters uh, Batman Series 2 and uh, the multi-packs. Like I said, I'm going to plan on getting some of the DC figures. I saw like a Flash and uh, Superman and, you know, they're look, you know they the same design and all that. So I think it'd be fun to do those too. And then, uh, so keep an eye on that. And then I also have some Fortnite figures that I uh, also want to do another review on those. And until then, I'll see you in the next video.